And would you look at the size of those, my first lemons. Awesome, okay, it's been about another month or so since I've done a tour of all these food plants in pots. We're gonna go through what has happened. And, and, and welcome back to another video that is me growing stuff in pots. There's the stuff, there's the pot, hoorah. And would you believe it, one fell off. So I'm pretty sure that is ripe. There's a slight mingy bit there, but I think this is probably the first fruit after five months of growing all these fruit trees that isn't 100% dodgy. <laughs> Just about everything we have grown so far because we're not using any chemicals to kill bugs and stuff has been attacked by bugs, but it is now autumn. It is getting a little bit cooler. I think the days are like 28, 30 degrees Celsius. So that's roughly 80 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm pretty sure. So there's less bugs around than what there is in summer when it's a lot warmer. We have our first lemon. I'm going to place that next to Benji. There's a lemon. Don't sniff the lemon. Well, you can sniff it, but don't eat the lemon. Where do we even start? Okay, obviously the fruit trees are going pretty well. My pear, and this is a, what was it, a Packham or something? Yep, Packham's pear hasn't lost its leaves yet. So I'm pretty sure they lose all their leaves in winter. I am super, super new to growing all these things. As I said, it's five months in. I'm trying to do a monthly update on how all the fruit's going. Some of them are not going well, like whatever that is. Though maybe they stay small, I'm not entirely sure. That is an Indonesian lime. So if anyone in the comments knows if Indonesian limes stay small, I'm thinking maybe they do because there's two on the thing and they're both small. Anyway, it is what it is. Is that a bug? Yeah, that was a bug. <laughs> oh, uh, loquat, and I think these are from China and Japan, has got flowers. Look at that. So when they have flowers, that means we're potentially going to get fruit. I tried Googling it, wasn't too sure whether you need two trees or not. These get like meters high, like as high as that cactus, high as that palm. Everything is in pots. I will add quickly because I plan on moving to acreage in the next year or two. So that's why none of this is in the ground. I know. Crazy? Yes. And I do have another loquat, different variety. Whatever that one is. Obviously that is a Japanese name, so a Japanese variety. This one has been losing its leaves a little bit, so I'm not too sure if it's just the temperature and they do lose their leaves. I haven't bothered Googling that. Or it's got some nasty disease. <laughs> we'll find out. Otherwise, all the other fruit trees are going super well. This is the variegated lemon. I think this was a Eureka. Yeah, variegated Eureka lemon. New leaves on that. How cool is that? So I said in a few of the other videos, these guys get variegated fruit. So it's sort of like a normal lemon, but it looks like a lemon and a lime and it's striped. It is very, very cool. My pear hasn't lost all its leaves yet. That's where I cut it. And now it is probably about a meter higher than it was. So it's about three foot or so. Going well, the brain lemon is still there. Now apparently, you don't eat these. You use them in cooking or something weird. I have no idea, but it is what it is. We'll deal with that when we deal with that. My lychee, lychee, lychee. I don't think it's done anything and I've had it for about a month, but it is replanted in a bigger pot, proper substrate, soil. Did I just call soil substrate? You can tell I have an aquarium shop. <laughs> it seems to be going fine. My dwarf lemonade tree. It's a couple of lemons. They are so close to the ground, I'm just waiting for something to eat them. Not Benji, but something else. Trichoceros, you can eat those. Probably don't want to. They're too nice to eat. One day, maybe. Now, the figs. Look how much this has grown. For anyone that's seen my last video, I think it was about a month and a bit ago, maybe five weeks ago or so, these were a lot smaller. They've grown really, really well. The one that was mingy is actually starting to get proper leaves now. So that and those were kind of about the same size. So that has grown huge. The other one, and if we creep over here, 
is still absolutely filth. So yeah, it's got some sort of bacterial disease. Oh look, the leaf's just come off the bloody thing. So I think we just need to spray that with a few more things. Now I've got disease on my hands. <laughs> yeah, okay. Where do we even go from here? There are a lot of plants. So I'm probably going to go to I'm probably not going to go through everything in this video. Seem the last video was like an hour or so. So we're gonna sort of cut this one a little bit shorter just to not bore anyone. If you did like the hour video though, comment down below and I can make longer videos. My dwarf mango hasn't really grown. It had new shoots, which is there, and then they stopped. And now they look a little bit mingy. This one didn't really get any new shoots. I think that is not a dwarf mango. Oh, and what has grown huge is my black sugar cane. I probably need to upgrade the pot. It hasn't even turned black yet. Apparently they go black. They're from New Guinea, I think. Because that's where sugar comes from. Black sugar? I'm not entirely sure. All my finger limes, and I think last time I only had like four finger limes. Now I have about 11 finger limes. <laughs> did notice a couple of finger limes look at that if you haven't seen a finger lime before this is an Australian native citrus weird it has little tiny bubbly fruit not bad in gin and stuff like that so I've had a few of those now a few of the fruit a few gins yeah, I've had a few gins as well the blueberries disappointment they look good, they're healthy, there hasn't been any bugs attacking them, they never looked mingy, they've got new shoots, but they all stopped producing blueberries. Oh, when did they stop producing blueberries? Probably about four months ago. I think I got my first one, which is pretty sure is that one there. Or is it that one? I think it was that one there. And it had blueberries, everything was great, and then stopped. I don't know if it's the pH of my soil. I keep saying I need to adjust the pH. I haven't even checked the pH of the soil. Pretty sure they want acid, so acidic soil. But we need to double check that before we even muck around with the soil. It might be the time of year too. I'm guessing it's the time of year because a lot of these plants are seasonal. If you know, just comment down below because I'm so new to this. I have no idea. I could Google it, but half the fun is not knowing sometimes. My jackfruit, is this a jackfruit? I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, jackfruit, cosmic gold. Hasn't done anything. Oh, wait, it has. We have a new leaf. Okay, it has produced one new leaf <laughs> in the month I've had that as well. I haven't actually brought any new fruit trees for maybe two or three weeks. Which is kind of scary. I still need to get more dirt and more pots and need to upgrade some of these uh, citrus trees, but haven't done that either. I think this whole area, I have not done anything with. I know it's only going to take me a day or so to get stuck into it and get rid of all this rubbish and repot a lot of these plants and do a cool sort of shade area or something stop bugs getting in there but I just have not done anything about that. My yakons are looking awesome so obviously they did not like the heat of summer. Apparently they take like six months, eight months to actually produce weird dirt potato, not potato, dirt banana fruit. It's like, looks like a potato, grows like a potato but it's like a banana but apparently it's the texture and taste of a pear. I have no idea but that's a yakon. Yeah, there's two of them. My pawpaws, bisexual gold, bisexual red. They are huge, look at that. Now, a couple of people have told me if I repot them, they're gonna lose all their leaves and just go mingy. Yes, they are in pots. <laughs> I know, I don't think these are gonna survive a year or two until I get acreage. So I think these and the bananas will show you soon are probably gonna be grown in the ground here because there's no power lines or anything like that so they'll be fine so I'll have to deal with that oh while we're here and people like flowers 
Oh, and check this out. That's horrible. Bloody caterpillars have destroyed most of these figs. So I probably need to get them out of the shade and put them somewhere better. Look at that. That's a cool flower. Yeah, I'm not into flowers. But it is what it is. Wow, it is a little bit overgrown. Watch out, Benji. Watch out. Watch out, Benji. Oh, and this here, this is a native finger lime that is... Oh no, that does have prickles. I thought this was the non-prickly one. It is the non-prickly one. But there was a prickle. They're lying to me. Mount White Lime. That's supposed to be prickle free. That is the prickle free one. Okay, so prickle free have prickles. Dodgy advertising. <laughs> oh. I think this is a grapefruit and there are flowers again I haven't even had them a year it is it's a grapefruit oh this was the Minji grapefruit that has never gone well I brought them on the internet you know who you are and I think four different grapefruits three of them looked awesome one looked horrible this one has looked horrible for the whole time but it's finally got new leaves repotted it months ago still yuck I think a few other things we have some slight issues with. My weird dream herby thing. It's starting to get a little bit mingy. I think that might be the temperature, I'm not sure, but it does come from the UK. You would expect it to be used to that. But, horribly, I think it might be going to seed. And if it goes to seed, it might die. I'm not sure with this one. It's mugwort or something like that. <sighs> and it's probably a noxious weed in certain parts of Australia, apparently not where I live, so I have Googled that. But yeah, I think all the little seeds and stuff are telling me that like the basil that did that and just disintegrated, this is probably gonna do the same, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. My sun gazer other thing is, seems to be going okay. The eggplants, hmm, okay. To start with, they went super well. Then bugs got them. Now there's less bugs. No eggplants. Oh, actually, there is an eggplant. Oh, that's horribly mingy. Okay. So, no. We're going to take that off that. That's pretty sad. <laughs> so, yeah. I think there's not enough nutrients left in the soil because... Initially, oh, there's more than one. Okay, I need to do something about that. Look at them. If we can get there, there they are. Yeah, we need to do something about that because they're just sucking any nutrients from the soil that was there. Okay, I'm seeing lots of them now. Oh, that one's just pathetic, isn't it? Jeez. <laughs> you can probably sell that on eBay. Ooh, uh. Yeah, so I need to do something with the eggplants. New soil, better, better area, I think. They just needed so much water, it wasn't funny. I would water them, they would flop. I'd water them, they'd flop. And continuous, 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 continuous. So we sort of gave up a little bit on that. Native ginger, which has weird blue balls, looks a little bit mingy. So I did water everything early this morning. So maybe it hasn't had enough water the last few days. We'll see if that perks up or not. My Santos. Look at that, that was the one that lost all the leaves and all the stems. I think someone said it was a chicken drumstick plant, which would explain why they look kind of tr chicken drumsticky and fall off. But it has got new leaves, but apparently it will lose all its leaves for winter in the next month. So, yay! <laughs> Trichocerus area, they're just starting to look okay just in time for winter to not look okay, I think. So I might have to just move them somewhere, but they are under this frangipani tree and this frangipani will lose all its leaves in the next month. So there'll be a lot more sun here. At the moment, it's pretty shaded. I think we're like halfway through the day and there's not that much sun here. Ah, uh, the blue or purple turmeric. I think it's blue turmeric. I need to repot that because that pot is not big enough. Water it, it's great, then it goes mingy. Water it, it's great, then it goes mingy. Yeah. My parsley has gone mingy. 
just cannot get enough water to it. So maybe I should aquaponics the parsley. And we're going to look at the aquaponics in a minute because certain parts are going awesome, other parts not so awesome. I need to also get rid of some of these bloody little trees that are planting everywhere. Um, the peppers are coming back. Oh, and the basil that was this, it died off, has new little baby basils everywhere. So that is a basil seedling. I know, next to the toxic euphorbia. <laughs> I do need to redo all that. Haven't done that either. Cannot remember what this plant is. I'm pretty sure it's some sort of chocolate, um, what do they call it? Chocolate pudding tree or something like that. But I'm not entirely sure because it didn't come with a tag. This, which was expensive, which is my, oh no, is it, oh yep, tangestine, tangestine, hasn't done anything. So we're hoping that we'll have a new shoot or something like that soon. Over here, this is our aquaponic system. If you haven't seen the videos, it's solar powered. There's a panel there, pump in there, fish in there, pumps the water up, down, back, and then in, and also up here, along here, down, and back in. Lots of strawberries. They are just starting to go well. I did have a strawberry plant just disappear, so that's a little bit suspect. I think we have possums, which is also not good. Along here, this was a fail. <laughs> Snow peas in aquaponics don't work. They got too wet. There we go, there's a rotted one. So I don't think you can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six of them have survived. This is my control of just planting the leftover ones in dirt and they look like snow peas. These are the ones that are in the system. Yeah, there is enough nutrients. I've tested nitrites, phosphates. It's just, I don't know, maybe too much water. Yeah, too much water and aquaponics, that is great. I don't think you can grow those types of things in aquaponics, but we had to try. Strawberries are going good. Look how big they've got in the last month. They were like half the size when we put them in there, so they're a lot bigger than they were. All these guys, now we've had a few issues with the passion fruit. There's actually four planted along there. Two are doing super well, two are not doing super well. So I don't know if it's just not getting enough sun, like we've lost most of our leaves on this frangipani, which was shading a lot of this. So maybe they will perk up again. I have no idea if they lose their leaves in winter or not, because we're new to all this, but we'll find out. Our bananas, hmm, <laughs> yes, they are in pots. Will they stay in pots? No, they won't, because they're gonna grow a lot faster than by the time I can get acreage, but we have, Cavendish, Cavendish, I think we've free Cavendish, but it's starting to get extra banana plants already, which is weird. Ladyfingers, yuck, they're horrible bananas. Why have I got them? Yeah, don't even ask. Goldfinger, because they couldn't think of another name. But I want the blue ones. And that one is, oh no, that's the pissing Ceylon. <laughs> I don't know. That's a blue one, and that's a blue one. I thought I had three blue ones. Maybe I've only got two blue ones. Blue Java. That is a blue Java. With a bent leaf, that's sad. And that's a blue Java. And that one there is the red Draka. At least it's red. These ones are supposed to have kind of blue bananas, but they're more greeny blue than green. E blue? Blue? Oh, this mango is supposed to be extinct in the wild. What is it? That's the name of it there. Castura? I don't know. But apparently extinct in the wild, so a rare mango. It also has not grown. My hog plum, not really liking life. I think it's got too big for the pot because we have hog plums and last time they got a little bit bigger than that then something ate them. But we've got a few yellow leaves. So I think that is either, oh yeah, they're falling off. I think it's maybe lacking something. I don't know if they lose leaves this time of year. 
we will find out, but it has new shoots as well, so that makes no sense. If it's losing leaves, maybe it's just the old leaves. We'll find out. It's either going to be really good or dead. And that is a dwarf hog plum. I can never remember what this is, but it's, look at that, oh, lovely new shoots. That's just waiting for a bug to destroy. Oh, that's that weird berry thing. I have no idea what it is. It is a weird berry thing. Now we did get lots of passion fruit flowers. See, there's some starting again, but we didn't get any passion fruit. So not too sure what the go is. These, oh, oh my God. You know how I just said we didn't get any passion fruit? That's a freaking passion fruit. Oh my God. That's our first passion fruit. Oh, let's hope nothing eats that except me. I do like, oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this is what happens when you don't have a close look at your plants. That is almost an actual passion fruit. Wow. Okay, so I was saying we had flowers but no passion fruit, but I lied because that is a passion fruit. That would explain why this one's going really, really well. The banana passion fruit is practically dead, I think. R.I.P. little buddy. I think it got too much water where it was because it's right down the bottom and we had like a month of rain because we're in the subtropics. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, that's the highlight of this video. We got a passion for it. Yay. <laughs> oh, and for the people that commented on my old video, it is still going well. How cool is that? That is my bottle aquaponics setup water trickling in there. My black rice, not going so well because so many caterpillars, what? Benji, did you just eat a strawberry plant? No, did too. Little strawberry eater. I have to watch what he eats because there are toxic plants in my garden. But yeah, as I was saying, the black rice, mm. A little bit of a fail, but I think that was the bug issue as opposed to anything else. <sighs> okay, there is a lot more to the garden. Obviously, we might do it in the next video instead of do half in this one, half in that one. Yeah, all the grapes just didn't really come back after that mingy bacterial infection and everything else. They tried. They have some new shoots and I think the best ones, oh my wasps are going super well for everyone that's playing along at home. Those wasps have been there since it was three wasps and now there's more than three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's six wasps. But there was a tiny little wasp thing. They're supposed to eat the bugs but I don't think they are. I think there's just way too many bugs. But yeah, check out that. So that has been camouflaged with the bromeliads. That's the grape, or one of the grapes. So nothing has eaten the leaves. That's hilarious. See, there's another bit there. So I think if it camouflages, it's okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a fail. But I don't think it's a good idea to put the grapes here. So I think they need a lot more climbing space, much like those guys do. So we'll deal with that when we deal with that. And I think before, oh, we do have some crops. No, Benji, you don't eat it. He's a boy. Ah, oh, it's his mum's bats. So we have some chilies, which are not for dogs to eat. And we have some tomatoes that nothing ate this time. Yeah, they're just random tomatoes. If you followed along before, yeah, we had so many tomatoes and then they just completely got nuked by bugs gave up, they all went in the bin, but then a lot of them grew back. That's the pot nightmare, I'm not even going there. But we'll quickly have a look under here. I have done absolutely nothing. Quick Pinchy, quick! Little wiggler. I have done nothing with the Beto buckets. We keep losing water because our pump is too powerful and I haven't done anything about it. Look at that. I do have little taps that I can turn down. There. 
but so far so good. It is working really well. I just haven't had time to redo the top so there's more sun and plant some plants here. Yeah, haven't done that at all. Those pepper plants down there are supposed to be going in there, but they haven't. It's just been doing its thing. Coffee plant is going well. My boysenberry has come from all the way over there. I know, that is growing super, super well as well, as well, as well. But our tea is, I don't know, it doesn't even smell like tea. Oh, that is a tea tree, where tea comes from. There it is, tea. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, click the thumbs up so I know. I will do another one and show you the rest of the stuff. I think in the next week or so, I'm gonna get some more pots and repot some of these and maybe make it a little bit more open because it's starting to get a little bit overgrown again. As you can see, I keep seeing butterflies laying their little bloody eggs on things. Ah, how cool are those apple trees? Oh, there is a bloody grasshopper. Look at it. Gotcha. Stop eating my plants. Anyway, we will see you in the next video. Thank you very, very much for watching. Benji says, woof, woof, Benji. He's like, whatever. That's growing really well. See you later.